10 rounds, you know what I expect? A good clean fight. Good solid jab to the body, and there's a two punch combination as more of that attack. A fight and not get sucked into the type of fight that your opponent wants to be in. And Gonzalez is sucked in already in this second round. Well, look at this action here. As you can see, Vivas. Midway through a fight, late in the fight, it turns into a gut fight. It goes from a boxing match to a fight. This is already a gut fight. This is already oh. a fight. Good shot right there from Gonzalez. The but Vivas answered with another body right shot. There. This is all right. Three straight left hooks up top. And look at what Vivas does. He says, I can go and do that too. Oh, oh big and, right hand. Gonzalez Both is winning guys these opening up in this round. Just a bit better. Cleaner shots. And technique, technique. His hands Good are out shot. of home. Good see Vivas shot. is swinging right from his there from Gonzalez. Let's see if he can keep it up. And it's coming behind a jab early on here in round oh. four. Mouthpiece came out. Oh, mouthpiece, mouthpiece comes out, out again. again. Got his mouth wide open, swinging with those punches. Short right hand connects. Oh, wow. And Gonzalez is not given any break for that mouthpiece to be returned. Nor should he. Headshot after headshot. Good shot. Ooh, he hurt him with that. Gonzalez Buff. creates distance, and he boxes Vivas at distance, where now that's the separation I'm talking about. That's a clear exchange that Gonzalez wins. If he could do more of that. Ooh, big one. He put his head right out in front, and he got hit by a left hook. Now he wraps around that elbow with a body shot. And then head hunting here to close out round number nine, and it's all available to him. Ooh, oh, my ooh. gosh. Oh, man, his face starting to look like the elephant man, man. Woo! Yeah, it was a nip and tuck type of fight. I mean, both of these guys, they came to fight. We knew that it was going to be a ton of volume, a lot of punches trade, traded. But, you know, Joet Gonzalez finally started getting comfortable. You know, he started fighting at the right range. You know, he did some discipline with his guards on the inside, landing short shots like that up the middle. And, you know, Vivas just kept doing the same exact thing. And pattern recognition is a thing in boxing. And when a fighter, a good fighter or a decent fighter, understands how to use his tools and his craft, and he sees the same pattern from a fighter, he can make him pay. And that's what Joel Gonzalez did tonight against Vivas. He made him pay every time he leaned in with his head. Left hook, right hook, left hook, right hook, uppercut. Hit him with the kitchen sink. Vivas didn't go anywhere. I, hey, I respect